welcome to guru ratin tutorial videos so i'll be uh, posting few tutorials videos related to mule application mule software and this will be the first one of it so i'll be starting with how to set up the environment to make this mule for run so many of us would have got an issue while running starting the mule application so i'll be covering that how to launch the mule application in your windows machine so these are the steps which we are going to follow first we need to install java so you can just go to the browse to install jdk and there will be oracle redirected to an oracle site where you can install your java jdk kit and once your application or java java is installed so you can just do your environment variables so i have done it previously so you need to set it as a variable name as java home and variable value as the jdk path to it and you need to set the path for that as well so you need to refer to the bin folder so after setting it you need to confirm whether the particular application is installed so just go to your command prompt type java space hyphen version so you can see the installed version in it so it is confirmed that your java is set to the system and now what we are going to do is next step is to install the new application so to download the software you just need to go to the mulesoft.com we can just normally google it like any any point studio downloads will be related to the site and choose your operating system as windows if you're windows this tutorial is all about how to install the mule into windows and launch the application so as per my configuration i just selected and downloaded it so i have the application downloaded and you can unzip it so when you try to launch once you unzip the application when you try to launch it it will ask for, ask for your workspace just click launch and you will be getting this error so what you have to do here is you just go to the anypointstudio.ini file click edit with notepad so the key thing here is we need to refer the java w.exe so what you have to do is i have this two lines which that needs to be added to this okay so if you take the line fifth line i just by adding this this is a two lines vm and you have to refer to the java w.exe file so once you are done that save the file now try relaunching this anypoint studio click launch and it should open now i yeah so this is how you launch the application i think this is a basic error where everyone will be facing while installing the mule 4 because in mule 3 application we don't have this problem while launching it sometimes we have the problem in the space so we need to configure this terms of space and these three parameters based upon your machine uh, capacity and how much space does the this application needs to use in your vm so once you last launch the application so if we have noticed so before the before in this mule 4 in mule 3 versions we were supposed to refer our jdk path for the code to compile so if you see here the automatically it takes the jdk path which where uh, there is a one step where you just need to configure this each and every time as you do it in as you create a new workspace in mule 3 
you will be configuring this JDK path in every workspace. So here for this whole uh, Mule 4, whatever the workspace you create, it will automatically refer to the JDK 1.8 as we are refer this into the IN, any point should be INI file. So this is all the this is all we have today for this tutorials. See you in one more tutorials. Hope you liked it. See you again. Bye.